And welcome everybody to the Living Life Podcast with your host, me, Rick, and the beautiful Jerry sitting across from me. Welcome to the podcast, guys. We do it every Friday. Uh, Post it either Saturday or Friday night, depending on how lazy I feel. But any, anyways, guys, uh, welcome to the podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And let's get into the stories for today. Today's story, one of them is, does uh, the cocoa vaccine, does it affect women's menstrual cycle so that's that story another story is disneyland uh, is reopening and then the uh, next story that we got it's not really a story but it's a video of a girl breaking her piggy bank and uh, shows two years worth of savings and also we're gonna be getting into the ever given which is that dumb cargo ship that got stuck in the suez canal and what's going on with that and also uh we're gonna be talking about a human trafficking case am i 30 seconds in yeah i am already so yeah human trafficking case that's going on in houston which is interesting and then we're gonna be getting into the weatherman of course the lovely weatherman uh he uh you know he has an interesting take on the weather and he's very unique i love him love that man Anyways, guys, so first things first, uh, should we go into the story first or should we talk about last week? Uh, just real quick about the Bill Maher thing. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, shed some light. Look, uh, I, I do not hate Bill Maher, okay? I do not hate him. There seems to be people think that I hate him. It's just kind of like a goof on something that he said, you know, uh, you know, talking about uh, that Twitch streamers are wasting their time and stuff like that, right? So we had a couple I just, of. Uh, I think I think what it is what, trolls. What like not made you upset was kind of like I I guess it's because we don't really pass judgment on anybody. So to see him like oh well they're you a useless human being. They're dumb. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that made you kind of be like, no, like, that's not cool for you to just, you know, Talk f- slap that, your man. lips and say that. Like, yeah. So, yeah, just real quick, we don't hate Bill Maher. Sometimes, sometimes he's pretty dumb himself. Uh, we had a couple, uh, one commenter saying that uh, he does agree with him that it's, uh, that is a waste of time. And he says that. But he is also smoking weed, and that's a waste of time too. He says, and that. Let me let me let me just get the quote up. I don't want to sound like an idiot. He made, he made it sound a lot better than what I can, what I can translate to. But um. Oh, Colty has a new girlfriend. What? 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 Nah, Dude. that's me. Colt's dating again. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, well, well yes. maybe we'll see that after. It's from Cinnamon Toast Ken, though. So, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to pull his his stuff, you know. Yeah. But that's an interesting take. Uh, Colt has a girlfriend. Oh, we got a new subscriber too. Awesome. Uh, so where is there it is? Sorry, guys. It's taking me forever to pull this dumb. Yeah. Some of these things. They're not dumb comments, but. Uh, so one guy put John Clark, uh, pro- obviously uh, a troll. There's a reason why you're here and Bill Maher is there. Yeah, it's because in the 70s, uh, they didn't allow uh, many stand-up comedians to be Mexican. So maybe that's why. Uh, all right, here we go. One of them, um, man. Why does YouTube make it so difficult to just see the comments? Like, jeez, come on. See, it's not showing me all of them. Show all, all the comments. Go to go. There we go. Finally, jeez. So he put his uh, screen name's Kush two fifty. As he put, I fully agree with Bill, and I am a minority former leftist who ha- who's been for police reform since I graduated high school. 
over a decade ago and invested my university studies to follow family members into social justice. And today I am completely embarrassed to have wasted so much time and effort to be a legal advocate for such a for a bunch of idiot lunatics. I pulled a Ricky Williams. It's all a waste of time, including the time to make this comment, but so is the cush I'm about to enjoy. Mm. So, yes, it, it can be a waste of time, but there's reasons why people go and watch it. I'm not saying that, uh, you know, so if if you're on that on that twenty four seven, then maybe. It's well, I kinda, mean, like I I I see what he's saying because I mean, just like how, like everybody has their reasons for doing stuff, just like how his family had a reason for following, you know, going to all these universities and for doing and, and yeah, stuff. and doing all this stuff. You know, he had his own choice of the reason why he, you know, what made him go into um what that you call field. it yeah that field and. Even even all the way down to smoking Kush, yeah. like there's a reason why he does it. Yeah, not just, just because it's a waste. of exactly. time. Exactly, because I could sit there and say that's a waste of time. It's because you like it. Exactly. Just like how I can like Twitch, w- and, and we're not gonna bash. Watch we're not gonna bash people for for smoking weed. Yeah, we're not gonna say, well, that you're an you're idiot. Stupid. You're an idiot you're if you smoke your weed. You you're know wasting. what I mean? Like no. we wouldn't do that. Yeah, and I think that that's why it's. That's why it hit me in the. It's not triggering us, but it's just more than like it's more like saying like how could you like how could you say that about people that you yeah. don't even know like respect people you want to be respected for for you know opinions you have for things that you like then respect other people mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's all it is so yeah I I don't hate Bill Maher some things that he says I find that it's true you know but. I, you know, some things that he says might I might find disagreeable. So what you're entitled to. Nobody exactly. nobody can sit there and judge you for not yeah. liking some of the stuff that he says. I mean, people don't like some of the stuff that we say. Yeah. So yeah, thank you guys for all the comments, especially Jeffrey Groom. I apparently spelled waste wrong. Uh I put W A I S T. Obviously I was thinking of my waste when I typed that uh <laughs> The thing on the, you know, on the, so, you know, thank you for that. Thank you, Jeffrey Grum. I know it's a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hardest comment. So yeah, thank you guys for the comments. Obviously we see them. So if you post them, we will react to them uh, the following week. And uh, so yeah, let's get started. Let's get started with the podcast officially now. Uh, so yeah, reports of menstrual cycle changes. Uh after the cocoa vaccine highlights issues with cl- clinical trials. So here's the story. It's from our local news here in Southern California, obviously ABC. So San Francisco on Monday, our sister station KGO TV reported that some women are noticing changes in their menstrual cycles after getting cocoa vaccines. Since then, hundreds of people have commented on the report and women continue to express concern about long and heavy Periods and changes in cycle timing. A hematologist in SoCal reached out to KGO with possible explanation and advice. So here's here's a little take from Jerry. I don't know if she wants to talk about this, about this but I'm going to leave it up to her. Do you want to go into what's going on with you right now after receiving the cocoa vaccine look wait first first we're advocating that everybody go and get it regardless if you're healthy yeah if you're well obviously if you have immune deficiencies or something that you can't allow doesn't allow you to get it but i mean stress it to your doctor don't say oh well i have this i can't get it yeah because for all you know you could get it you know what i mean like it's everybody get the vaccine yes so we can get through this herd immunity yes. and so we don't end up like uh like india yes. i'm not saying you know that what they're going through is i'm dismissing it but i want to avoid something like that happening here well th- again that, that's how we were yeah i was gonna say in the yeah. beginning like you know we couldn't even do anything because 
Okay. But yeah. So do you want to go into what's going on with you? Um, briefly, <laughs> if okay. that's okay. A lot of people are going to think you're pregnant, but. Well, yeah. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. But, I mean, okay. So I'm a little bit of a hypochondriac. As you know, you yeah. know, yeah, and you know, I um, I kind of freak out. Like I, I kind of, I, I'm one of those to like look up stuff on the internet and be like, "Hey, I'm dying next week. I'll see you later." You know what I mean? Like <laughs> too, too often, too often. Yeah, Self, but I mean self-diagnosing. I mean, you know, that's what we get for having you know everything at you know in our palms of our hands. But anyway, um. <laughs> I haven't had, let's see, I got my first vaccination in March. March. Yeah. And I, my, oh, I do have my wallet. And the last, no, don't show it because you can't show it. It's illegal. No, yeah, I'm not going to show it, but I'm saying. So the last time that I had a menstrual cycle was in February of this year. Uh-huh. I haven't had a menstrual cycle since February of this year until now. Well, not even now because I, I don't even have a, I'm, I don't have a menstrual period. So, um, automatically wants to assume, hey, I'm pregnant. You know, let me yeah. go get a test and, you know, all this stuff. So, I got a test and it was negative. First time. First, first negative. test was negative. We were already like, oh. Yeah. I think you might be. Yeah. I didn't want to be. I don't want to be. But. Yeah. Negative. 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 So then I was like, you know what? Well, maybe just give my body time. I probably am, but I mm-hmm. just, you know, because in the in the pro in when it first when I first recognized after a month that I missed it. Yeah. I kind of was like, in in from then until now, you know, I've been feeling nauseous. Mm-hmm. I've been feeling dizzy. I've been feeling. Like just not really myself. Yeah, sort but, of. But that too, because you, we have, we haven't been eating properly yeah. or healthy yeah. these last couple of weeks. Yeah, not well, like we should. Like we should. Like, but uh huh. But I. What's weird though is that when I got pregnant with our son, I at one thing that was weird and off for me is that I've always had a big appetite. I was always able to eat my my whole entire plate, my you know whatever I served myself, I ate. Mm-hmm. And when I got pregnant, before I knew I was pregnant, I would only be able to eat half of my food, and that was it. And I had, like, I ate half of my food, and it felt like I was full, like I ate my whole entire plate of food. Yeah. So it kind of, and that that's been happening to me after like when I was already gonna be late after the second month. I was kind of like, wait, yeah. like, okay, this is starting to happen now, and it's it's weird. I think I Two really might in, be pregnant. Yeah, like, so you we got a, a a second one, and I'm we're not we didn't go cheap on these tests. We want we got those <laughs> those Lamborghini tests, you know, the, the ones Lamborghini that, ones, the ones that talk to you when you <laughs> when you pee on them, like you yeah. are not pregnant, yeah, like, literally, yeah, and mm-hmm. we got the Lamborghini tests, and I'm still negative. Like Still no, negative, no, yeah. No pregnancy. So, Jerry obviously has been affected, I think, by the vaccine a little bit. Well, hold up, hold yeah. up. So, this is happening to me, and then I read an article mm-hmm. on my phone that says that the vaccine messes with your menstrual cycle. I sent. It I showed to you, it to you. No, I showed it, I to, sent you it to you first. I showed it to you I thought first. I sent it to you. No, I sent it to you. Because we again we were having that you know that worry that worriedness that okay well maybe she is pregnant and stuff so maybe or maybe this is why you haven't got your period it was because of the vaccine so that's why I sent it to you I was like hey maybe this is why you're not getting it and at first I think I was like nah like i was already like convinced like no i'm pregnant yeah like i'm not eating as much as i normally am i'm not you know i'm not feeling like myself i Mm. feel nauseous like i'm pregnant like that's it like for sure yeah (laughs) so then like 
I after the second test, then I was like, okay, well maybe maybe he's right. Maybe like it has messed with you. It has thing. messed with my body. Maybe and it has then, messed with your estrogen levels or whatever levels of uh, hormones in your body, but just causing you a delay. Because in some women, it's different. Yeah, that's that's what I was reading. Is yeah. that some people, some women get a heavier menstrual cycle. So like they'll, I mean, I hate to be TMI, but like yeah. they'll they'll have their menstrual and then they'll bleed again right after, after. which is like, crazy, right? Yeah, like when you think you should be done, like your period's like no, 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 no. Now hold up. Yeah, we're gonna press the reset button. <laughs> you know, it's it, it's kind of sad. I'm not making fun it's kind of sad, yeah. but it's it's I honestly like if I know that I'm not pregnant, like it's great because I. When what girl loves having her period or like enjoys having her yeah, period? Yeah, Jerry, when she has None. her period, she's like, Modelo! <laughs> yeah. She's like, Modelo! That's a modelo! Now yeah. she's just like, No, Modelo. What if I am? What if, you know, so you're like in limbo? And I mean, I know, I know a lot of people are like, Oh, we'll go to the doctor. Go to the doctor and check. Go check. And I'm not really one to go to the doctor. She, you do go to the doctor, I do, but because of but what's because of, going on, exactly. I don't really want to yeah. go out at all. Out, let alone to a doctor's office where I can potentially get it. Yeah. Because somebody, even though I'm vaccinated, somebody might have it yeah. for sure. The chances of of me getting it at an off a doctor's yeah. office is a lot higher because they're going to the doctor because they're sick. Yeah. Or whatever you know. And it's been shown that people that have had the vaccine can't get the virus. So you just uh, won't, you just won't die. Yeah, you just won't die. Anyway, so well, let's continue with the article here. Uh, the hematologist uh, said inflammation inflammatory reaction has been noticed with the COVID vaccine. We know that because many, including myself, after the second vaccine, developed some mild-like flu-like symptoms, said Dr. Ash- Akshat. Akshat Jain, a hematologist at Loma Linda University School of Medicine. Dr. Jain specializes in bleeding disorders in adolescent women and, ex- and explained the inflammatory cells triggered by the vaccine could affect hormones. So in case you guys can't see, zoomed it in. I'm just going to read through it real quick. Uh, the, that inflammation has a potential or potentially can modulate estrogen response, which could be the link between certain women having heavy periods after the vaccine, she explained. Dr. Jane recommends that women experiencing heavy bleeding see their doctor for a complete blood count and estrogen ch- test. So maybe that's what you need. You need an estrogen test. It's an easily fixable problem, Dr. Jane said. So while as scientists figure out the exact mechanism, which might take months, I think there are two actionable items that just need to be said out loud. There's a long history of us not doing a great job at studying women in research studies because of of this complexity, said uh, OBGYN Dr. Heather Huddleston who specializes in reproductive endocrinology. Dr. Huddleston wishes that the the vaccine makers had collected data about menstrual cycles during the randomized trials. They didn't collect the data. The train sort of left the station on that because we are now recommending the vaccine for everybody so that, that it... So it will be very hard for us to generate a control group to answer this question, she said. Dr. Huddleston says she's been thinking about ways to collect new data via apps that many women use to track their menstrual cycles, saying we could look at just sort of what is the baseline rate of people having irregular cycles or cycles that are different and look at whether we're noticing changes in the population of women who have gotten the vaccine in the last few months. When asked whether she thinks the vaccine is harmful to women who are experiencing the cycle changes and if it will affect fertility, Dr. Huddleston said no. So what I would say is that just in the same way that women, some women have and men have a sore arm after the vaccine, 
or maybe felt tired, maybe had even a low-grade fever. These are all things that people experienced in a very short-term way after the vaccine. And within a few days, people are back to normal. You see, hold on. I'm going to stop you right there. Yeah. I'm going to stop you right there, right there. Okay. Uh, That's not the same. May. That's not the same. (laughs) Because you see... In the beginning, she said, for the first of all that, that made me upset is that she said that it's an easy, fixable problem. How do they expect to fix it? Yeah. And not only that, but she's saying after Maybe she that, means up to, like, your body will fix it. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Because she even said to herself that, that they're not that great at doing research on women's bodies. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you do that? Like, Why wouldn't you track and then, it? And then, and not only that, but you're now saying that. Sorry, excuse. It's me. okay for women, pregnant women, to get the vaccine. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm still all for the vaccine, but just consult with your doctor because if people if women are bleeding out like this. Yeah. They're not bleeding. Not out. Not bleeding out, but I mean having extra heavy menstrual periods. Yeah. What if it does something to a pregnant woman's body where it causes her to have a menstrual period? That's pretty freaky. That's what I'm saying. So it's just kind of like, and you can't, you can't, it's just, it's not the same. Like a woman hearing a woman talk about this is like, okay, obviously this did not happen to you. Yeah. Because like, it's not just like a sore arm. She's probably old anyway. So yeah. she's probably already I mean, I don't want to say that. It's not a sore arm. That's what I should say. That's all I have to say is that if they should have, they should have looked into each avenue about how this vaccination was going to affect different kinds of people. Yeah. Before they said, hey, everybody get it. Everybody get this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody should get it. Everybody should get it. But I'm just trying to say that don't. It's scary. It's it's kind of scary because yeah. it's like okay am I pregnant am I not pregnant mm-hmm. you know what I mean like and then am I gonna have to be taking tests every month until my body fixes itself? Well, that's what I'm telling you. Let's let's go see the doctor. No, because even if we go see the doctor, well that that way they can give you an actual blood test to make sure that you're not. You know I know, I mean? but even if so, how are they gonna fix my body? I don't know. We'll see. They're going to put extra estrogen in my body? Could be. You know? Or whatever? Yeah. Like, how are how do they expect to fix it? Like, I don't know. I'm just... My rant's over. Thank you for coming from to my TED Talk. TED Talk? <laughs> it's just... It's scary not having your period in almost close to three months, you know? Yeah. I mean, I know it's scary because, I mean, I... You know, I'm living through it too, you know? Yeah. You're living through it. I mean, it's good. I'm not living through it physically, but I'm living through it through your. I mean, yeah, what it's, I'm it's, getting from you. It's you know? good for me because I mean, like, um, like I don't have to. I don't have to bleed. So much, oh, I know, but <laughs> that saves on pads. Let me tell you. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Pads should be free. Yeah. For all women in the U.S. Yeah. How about sign that into law, Mr. Biden? Yes, please. Because women didn't ask to go through these conditions. It's not something we can uh, just stop. (laughs) Yeah. So let's finish the article here. It says, that is a transient reaction to the vaccine, she said. And it's a representation of your immune system being activated. If, and it's still big, if... If, and it's still a big if, I read it wrong, (laughs) but if these menstrual cycle changes are also sort of linked into the upregulation of the immune system that we're seeing, then I would view that in the same way I would view a sore arm. It's a nuisance, it's troubling in that moment, but it's not a representation of something that's going to continue. It's not a representation of any sort of permanent harm or damage and there is no reason to think there's a reason to be concerned over time. And there's no reason to think that these there's any impact on fertility. 
and she recommends to that all women should get vaccinated. So, Mrs. Huddleston, or Dr. Huddleston, your comments, although uh, they're trying to reassure people, it's not reassuring to uh, Jerry because obviously she's like, that doesn't make sense to her, to her body. Do you know what I mean? Does anybody know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Whatever she's saying doesn't represent you. Yeah. Because it's been already a couple months and it hasn't corrected itself. Well, then again, <clears throat> yeah, it has been a month already. We've already gotten a month, almost a month since you had the second dose. Yeah. So, yes, it's been... It's not it's not going away that fast. It's not going away well, in four it happened, days. It happened it happened after my first dose. Yeah, I know. It happened after your first dose. But then now you have a second dose. So it's gonna take even longer. Uh, yeah. So we don't know. We don't know. But you should still get it. Yeah. And do not listen to stupid Joe Rogan. Yeah. Just go get the vaccine. Yeah. If you're twenty one and you're healthy, go get the vaccine. To remain healthy, to remain having a sense of taste. That's another thing. My dad, yes, he recovered from it uh, in what the beginning of March, right? He left the hospital in the beginning of March. Yeah. He was in the hospital for a month. He is a healthy guy. He doesn't drink soda. He is an older man, but he's, he's pretty much very healthy. Doesn't smoke, doesn't... Yeah, doesn't smoke, doesn't do anything like that. Yeah. He had a hard, hard time in the hospital, one month, made it out. But till this day, as of yesterday that we were there, he's still telling us that his sense of taste has not come back. And is still having a hard time tasting food, or if anything at all. Yeah. So go and get it so you don't get jacked up. It might not kill you, but you will get jacked up somehow. Yeah. So just go get it. Don't listen to Joe Rogan. Just go get it. Yeah. Don't be alpha. Everybody's body is different. Yeah. Don't be trying to be alpha. Just go and get it. For all you know, for all we know, he could have gotten it. <laughs> he did get it. His kids had it. Not it. The vaccine. Oh. 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 No. Uh, he, his kids got the, the virus, though. But his kids didn't get bad, you know? Or get it bad, I should say. Yeah. All right, next story. Sorry to skip your story already. I mean, unless you want to still go on and talk about I'm it. I'm done. You're done? I'm just happy I'm not pregnant. Woo! So if any ladies <laughs> out there or men, have you experienced your wife changes in their thing? I mean, yeah. don't post their private information, but, yeah, you know. Uh, have you noticed a difference? Did you get a heavier period? Did you get a lighter period? Did you not get a period like Jerry for three months? Yeah, leave it in the comments. We'd like to know. It would be cool. It would be cool. Yeah. It'd be cool. It'd mm. be cool. All right, next story. Uh, Disneyland is uh, opened back for the first time. Open back? Or opened again. Back open. It's back open again. Since last year. It's That's crazy, crazy, right? That's crazy. So uh, it opened back up today. Uh, bringing back magic of the Disneyland California Adventure. And then after an unprecedented 13-month closure. And what tourism officials hope is a sign of the state's rebound from the pandemic. Uh, so yeah, they opened today and people were crying and cheering and filming, obviously. So wait, was California Adventure open already? Yeah, they opened it too. No, but they, they had opened it already, right? Well, they had the, a touch of Disney. No. Which was, you walk through it and they had like shops and all this stuff. No. But you couldn't get on the rides. Well, cause one of my friends, um... He was on. He was on the Avenger. I mean, not the Avenger. He was on the Incredibles, right? Really? Yeah. Before they yeah. opened it? No way. Before Friday. Before today. That's crazy. Unless he has some connects. It was. I think it was yesterday. Not unless they opened California Adventure and then they opened Early. Disneyland. Today. Maybe. Maybe. 
So yeah, uh, apparently you, if you're from another country, you can't visit the park. Is that was that what I was thinking or what I was hearing? Wait a minute, hold on. What? what hold what, on. What, what? Wait, wait, go down, go down. Why do you always do that? Wait, what? It says a Boyle Heights couple. What? Down was possibly the first to get engaged at the park amid its reopening. Boyle Heights? Where do you see that? Right there. A Boyle Heights couple. Was possibly the first to get engaged at the park amid its reopening. Oh, That's cool. That's where, uh, that's where Jerry's from, if you guys don't know. <laughs> Jerry was born and raised in Boyle Heights. That's her, like... And your mom, too. Your mom, your dad, everybody has been born and raised in Boyle Heights. No. Except for maybe for your grandparents? My parent, my my mom was not born and raised in Boyle Heights. No? So how'd you meet your dad? She met my dad. That's, a lo- that's another story. That's another story. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the park is back open. Uh, people are happy. I actually looked into tickets to go see how much it would be. There's there, It's crazy because if you look at the park or you look at the month, it'll tell you what, you know, you choose what day you want to come. And depending on the day you try to come, they charge you a different price. So if you come on a Friday or on a weekend, it's uh, almost $200 a ticket. Versus if you come on a weekday, it could be 150 to 160 bucks a ticket. Uh, so the prices are Why still are outrageous. So much. It's, for, it's one day for a one day park hopper. If you actually come for five days straight, if they have a park five day pass, and it's way cheaper. It's like only I think like twelve. But you have to go. Obviously, yeah, because they're dated. Like you have to come. No, what I'm trying to say is that, like, let's say, like. No, like you buy Wednesday five, and you're like, oh, I want to go today. You would have to go. You would have to. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You have to go to the five street. No, days. but you can't like. How can I say? You can't like bail out for that one day. Oh, you don't have to come. I mean, That's... obviously, you lose the money from that day, so you'd be dumb not to go. Can you give your ticket to somebody else? Uh, that I do not know because you know how they, they attach the your name. Pass, but they don't have the photo pass no more. No, but they, they take your picture with your ticket at the beginning of the park. Do they? Yes. You don't remember that? They get, well, with they the scan passes, their ticket yeah. and they scan, they take your picture and then you're out. So that way, if you do go out and you try to re-enter the park and somebody else tries to come in with your ticket. Uh, uh, uh. uh, they, should uh, just, uh. they should just make Disneyland free. Disneyland free. Swear. They shit. You swear. They shit. So yeah, Disneyland is back up and running. Uh I I do wanna go. And I'm I, I'm hoping they do have the annual pass again. I doubt it. I doubt they will ever have that again because of the pandemic. Maybe after we've reached herd immunity, which is like they're saying twenty twenty four. 3-2024. So maybe then we get the annual pass back up and running again. I don't know. It's a fun place to be at, especially if you want to just go out for a walk. No, you can just not. go. Yes, it is. It used to be, but I it's, remember it's so overcrowded now that it's like the wait line, the wait time for like a restaurant. A restaurant. No, but you can make the reservations. If they have any. If they have any. But you know what I mean? Like, it, it's it's a fun, even just to show up and just walk around, like, as a, just like an exercise. It was really, it's really fun. It is. It's really fun. It, it is. It was fun when, I mean, I love, I love our son. Yeah. It was fun when we didn't have our son. No, even... When because we had our son, I had a good time. No, we well, I mean, I have, just go with I have a good seat. time, but the thing is, is, mommy, I want this, my daddy, I want this, I yeah, want this, I want true. this. And when we went in there as adults, we just, we went to go Where walk we around to. Yeah. and not, even, 
that's why you're saying like it was a we had a good time when he was a baby because he was in the stroller he wasn't yeah. able to cry for things and that he wanted you know this this it. this expensive stuffed animal that like you can buy at the disney store you know what i mean like yeah. it's still fun it's fun but it's just i don't know all the people there don't make it fun so yeah just for us three you me and armin i was looking at the tickets so it's like five hundred dollars and that was on a weekday. Gee. For a weekend, it's like almost 600 So, yeah. Disneyland's back open. <laughs> uh, another story that we wanted to see. It's not a story. It's just a little video. It's a girl who was saving up for two years in these little piggy banks. And I'm going to show you the piggy banks there. And she was saving for two years... And it's just it's just crazy how when she cracks them open, it's just ginormous amounts of money flying up. How long have you been taking this? Uh, since 17. 17. You're 19 right now, yeah. right? Okay, hold on. Um, you know what? Why don't you go break it over there, and then we'll just leave it. It seems a little bit unrealistic. Like, how much money was she getting? When she was 17. So look at that. First of all, that's her shoebox. For her bad bunny tickets. It's crazy how much money she's Oh, we saw the, we missed the action. That's crazy. That's just one little one. All right, so here's the other one. No, on the nose, though. Oh, yeah. Stay on the side. Yeah, right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. <coughs> oh, you're still having a drink. Right. My dad's like, oh, just coughing. Like, <laughs> choking. Choking. Like, you have more money than me. You have more money than me. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then here's the big mama. Big mama jama. Man, you keep ruining it. I'm sorry. I just, uh, come on. It's just hard to find the spot. Okay. Right here? Yep. Oh. Okay. Dang. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. To me, it seems like it's like planned. Like, oh, here's all this money. Just stuff it in there and we'll make a yeah. video. <laughs> yeah. I'll say you've collected it for two years. So she says most of these are tips. So she's probably works at a restaurant somewhere. And she has all this extra moolah. That's crazy. To have that level of, of dedication to save all that money. I know. Cause I we I know me as, as soon as I get my check it's like let's go get Starbucks <laughs> or actually Jerry would say that I'm trying to prevent Jerry from getting Starbucks all the time but I need it but she says she needs it so yeah that is a girl breaking her piggy banks and seeing the satisfaction of all that dough all that dough all right, the next story we got we're going into is the Suez Canal thing, the whole ever ever given uh debacle thing that happened what how many weeks was it now? 2 weeks, 3 weeks? Something like that. Something like that. So yeah, uh apparently the ship is still there and the at the Suez Canal, it's docked. And they are not releasing it cuz they want they want some money. So 
they got it out of the they got it out of the trenches but the authorities from the Suez Canal have held the ship mm. for ransom almost like ransom but they're trying to make make them pay for the trouble that they had to go through to get it out I, I'm, that's what I'm assuming but uh, so yeah the ship is still there the ship is still at the Suez Canal uh, and all the goods at the from the 18,000 containers on, on board are stuck and they, and they can't unload it. The only way to unload that ship is by taking it either to a big port in the UK or China or here in LA at, at Long Beach. Because they need a, a, a big enough crane to get those pods out of the ship. So that's the only way they're going to be able to get it out. So people, or not people, but the owners of the goods are trying to, you know, like, please, you know. Please let the ship out. We're, we have, you know, millions of worth of goods in there. Yeah. So if you're wondering what's in the ship, uh, they're saying, it says maritime sources. I don't know if this is verified, but it says maritime sources with knowledge of the Ever Given's manifest tell the American shipper the following product categories are on the vessel in order from the, mo from the most 20-foot equivalent units TUEs to the least electronics machinery and parts household goods furniture and footwear and for legal reasons American shipper is not allowed to provide the exact percentages and there's a little line on the bottom of fine print it says it says on down there boba there's a shortage of boba just kidding <laughs> you make me cry <laughs> So the various owners of all that cargo have to sit and wait for an unspecified amount of time while the ship is effectively held hostage. These owners are begging the ship's operators, Evergreen Marine, to unload it, but they can't. Obviously, they need to go to a big port. Even even says here, maybe in L.A., Long Beach, Big Asian, and, and European ports. But in, in Egypt, they don't have any ports like that. And supposedly there's a lot of materials to make garden gnomes that were reaching the UK. Hmm. That's crazy, right? Who would have known? Who would have known there's a garden gnome shortage in the UK? <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the Ever Given still stuck over there. So I thought uh, I would share that with you guys. Uh, here's another story that we found. This is the last. Uh, the last story is uh, more than 90 people have were found huddled together in a home in Houston, out of all places, where Scotty Kilmer lives, or used to live. Who? Scotty Kilmer. ScottyKilmer.com. This is why Toyota is the best vehicle oh, in the world. Oh, <laughs> that Toyota, time. my Celica. My Celica has a 200,000 miles, and it still runs great. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Toyota Celica used to live in Houston. So, yeah, uh, 90 people were found inside of a house in Houston, and they were part of a case of human smuggling, said Houston police. It's crazy. No one was seriously injured, uh, but Houston police assistant chief Darren says that we were are concerned that there may be some positive COVID cases inside the house. Some people have fevers and some have lost their sense of smell and taste. So obviously it's COVID. Uh, the Houston police confirmed late Friday that at least five people had tested positive. So obviously all of them will test positive because they're all in the same room. Uh, so yeah, they sent health department uh, had sent workers to, to the scene to conduct rapid testing. Uh, they told police they hadn't eaten for a while, and they were, and they were brought food and water. There were no children inside, which is a great thing. Obviously, that's the worst type of uh, human trafficking. I mean, all human trafficking is horrible, but when it becomes, when it's children, it like hits home, you know. Because I think of my our, little, our baby. my my little uh, troublemaker over there. Says no children were inside. Five women were inside the house, and the rest were men. 
So I don't know what the hell was going on out there. It says Houston police said that they were uh, were aware of a kidnapping call Thursday night, and authorities worked through the night to find the kidnapping victim's location. Authorities executed a search warrant at the two-story Houston house to determine and determined it was a human smuggling investigation. That's crazy. Ninety people. Uh, I don't know if that's an actual picture of the thing because it doesn't say. But I guess maybe one of the victims there with the Houston police. That is crazy. Damn. Alrighty, guys. So the last story of the day is the the weather. And we're going to find out what the weather was here in Southern California today. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and listen to the weatherman. Ready? Yeah. Let's get in on this. God damn. Oh, I ruined it. Sorry, weatherman. I didn't mean to mess it up. God damn. It's 80 fucking degrees outside. It's clear skies. The sun is shining. Fuck is bright. Fuck is warm. Fuck is about time. Because them damn clouds were getting so fucking depressing. Shit, I'm so happy. I finally, we finally got some heat up in this motherfucker. Such a beautiful ass day. What the fuck is going on where you at? Oh, sorry, I'm going to bleed it again. So I'll tell you what's going on over here, uh, weatherman. I don't know what type, where do you live, but over here it was uh, close to 100 degrees. <gasps> 90, what was it, 93 or 97 at one point when we were traveling on our little shitty Prius. Oh, down the, down we the have to tell them the story. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll get into that. Okay. So, yeah, it was freaking hot today. Yeah. Yesterday, in Ventura County, they reached 101 for the first time this year. So, it's already hitting the 101s. Whoa. In the Ooh. middle of April, when it's supposed to be still raining. <laughs> June gloom. Yeah. So June, June gloom. May, May showers bring... No, was it? April showers bring May flowers? Is that the same? Well, it ain't rain. It hasn't rained that much. And the last rain we had was like, like the sky was just spitting at us. Yeah. Like there was like it was weird. There was no clouds. Oh wait, there were some clouds, but the majority was sunny. Yeah. But then you would just see like you would feel so the water like, come like down. Like rain. Unless it was a bird pooping on me, but no, um, it was a lot of water. Yeah. It dirtied my car. Yeah. Nasty. It was mo- mainly catching all the dust and just dropping it on the cars. Yeah. So yeah. It's, uh, it hasn't been rainy. It's been hot in here in Southern California. So if you guys didn't know. Yeah. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go to the last story. Our story. If Our you guys want to know what's going on with us. If you made it this far, type, uh, I don't know. What do they want them to type? I don't know. They never do it. They never do <laughs> it. They never do it. Well, if you are a fan, if you guys like our podcast. Yeah. Let us know uh, you're watching. Let us know you're watching. Leave it in the comments. Hit that like button. So, yes, today uh, it was super hot, obviously, as we stated. And Jerry was like, let's let's get a snow cone maker. And then I was like, hey, that is a good idea. That is a hell of a good idea. I am so down to go get snow cone. Like a snow cone maker and the little syrups, right? A little syrup. <laughs> so uh, me and Jerry set off on an adventure, on an internet adventure, and we found some. Supposedly, at Target, we found some supposedly at Walmart, and we found some supposedly at Home Depot. Okay, so you know we we first checked Target, and they do have one. It was thirty dollars. But the damn thing wasn't a plug-in. Well, they had two. But go no, on the other one was an ice cream maker. No. The other, one, but the other one was a toy. The other one. Well, yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. That's what I wanted to get into. You okay. are ruined again. You so, are ruined it. Jerry is like, oh look, Target has one for twenty bucks. Let's go to Target. And it was a what was it? It was a peanuts. A peanuts gang 
snowmaker, yeah. right? So we go to, <laughs> to Target. <laughs> And we find one of them. <laughs> and the the one that we find, it's $30. And I would think for $30, it has a little motor that would spin the ice to shave it for you, right? This, These suckers want us to pay $30 <laughs> for a hand crank that you spin the top and you crumble the ice. Yeah, crush it. And crush it into your, your cup. I I have no patience for that. I need a machine. I need something to spin and cut my damn ice. Okay? You're like, I want my snow cones now. <laughs> I want my snow cones now. I don't want to work for this thing. <laughs> so we don't buy it. Okay. Jerry is like, oh, let's go look for the the peanuts one. I was like, all right, well, let's go see the peanuts one. Literally, it's a freaking toy. It's in the toy aisle. It's in the toy aisle. It comes with syrups. It comes with the little cups. It's 20 bucks, but this thing looks like it's just going to break in like seconds. I was just like, no, we can't we can't buy this. This is this is for like Armin like just to like chill and just like play play around with. Yeah, play around, make a little snow cone. So we skip on it and we're like, okay, well, the next store is Walmart. We go, you know, I look, I look at Walmart and I'm like, "Hey, look, they have the nostalgia ones. Give me the box. Can you, can you grab it? So they had a nostalgia one. Uh, it was not the exact same one that we got. But. Okay, we're not sponsored or paid by nostalgia, okay? But we go and well, buy. Wasn't with, there wasn't this one. It was a, the same brand, though. Oh, was it? Yeah. It, so we go to. This is the one we ended up getting. And we'll, we'll tell you how we got this in the end. That's pretty cool. We made I made already like five snow cones, and it's awesome. Five or dozen. Now snow, five snow cups. Five I, dozen <laughs> snow cups. <laughs> this thing is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love it, especially for these hot days. Yes. Okay. Go so yeah, we I I go to Walmart. We go all the way to Jerry's favorite Walmart, or Jerry has a favorite Walmart because it doesn't get as crowded. So that one uh, is in Baldwin Park. So we go all the way over there. It says on the website it's in stock. Okay, it literally says on the website it's in stock. So we go and you know I find the syrups, I find the little cups for the snow cone. Uh, yeah, I find like the little section, and I'm there running around like a chicken, my head cut off. Okay, I'm running around, and I can't find the damn machine. So I asked the employee, I was like, hey, you know, it says you have them in stock. Do you know where they're at? Uh, they're, they're somewhere in the front. They're, they should be in the front. You know how they, how they help you, right? You know how they help you? So, oh, yeah, they're somewhere up there in the front. So I go in the front, and I'm looking, I'm looking. I go through each aisle like a freaking idiot, and I'm, I'm checking. Nothing. There's no snow. And then I finally asked the manager, hey, you know, I, I you know, I, it says you have them in stock. Where where are these? And it's like, oh um, yeah, we don't we we don't we didn't get those. We don't have those. I was like, oh okay, thanks for checking. So yeah, they said they didn't have. Them. So I was already pissed off. I had gotten mango. I had gotten watermelon. I was already planning my little, my my shaved ice with my like fruit inside. I was already thinking of making like the baddest like raspados here in the house, right? I'm just so pissed off. I leave the cart with all the little syrups in the aisle. I just like, just like how they, yeah, just like how they help me. I'm gonna help them and just leave all the crap here. So I didn't buy anything. I, didn't, I left. I left Walmart sad, uh, confused, lost, lost, and, and I just left Walmart. And uh, I told Jerry when I got to the car, she was like, dude, you guys took forever. I was like, yeah, because we're looking for this stupid machine and we can't find it. So then Jerry's like, well, let me check Home Depot. No, what? Did, no, you checked on Google, right? And yeah, it, I looked No, up you checked Bed Bath & Beyond. Let me check Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah. They always sell all this crazy dumb crap that nobody wants. <laughs> 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 so Jerry goes and searches. And literally, it just says uh, that out of stock, auto, all, all out of stock, all out of stock, and only online. 
Yeah. We're like, man, we're never going to find one. At that point, that was already like the, like. We're already planning. Okay, well, we'll just order one on Amazon. Yeah, we'll, we'll order we'll, on we'll Amazon. We'll go to Sonic today to, to fulfill the craving of yeah, the, of the of sl- slushy. slushy ice drink. So at that point, I see another Walmart that has the snow cone that we wanted. Or the snow cone maker that we wanted. And before we even go this time, I called. And obviously, when you when I called, they're like, oh, no, that's just an online order. Online item. You can't buy that in the store. Yeah. I was like, man, they like, don't give me that crap. It says you have them in stock. Well, you I, I carry the nostalgia up. products. I looked it up, and it said limited stock. It's such a BS. So, so I was so sad. Jerry was so sad. We're like, let's just go to Sam's Club, get our ass wipes that we get, and let's just go home. And we called Home Depot because I looked on oh, Google, yeah. and I was like, safety. She's like, oh, sorry, we don't have those in store right now. That we usually have them on during Christmas time as gifts that give like, people gifts to people. I know. Who buys a snow cone maker? During Christmas, well, during it makes winter. sense. Winter, winter. ice, that's so snow, dumb. cones. No, that's you so know, dumb. it it all goes together. But I wasn't tripping. I was like, okay, whatever. Like that was so dumb. Yeah. So then. So then I just go on Google after we after we finish the uh, Sam's Club. Yeah. Because after we got the ass wipes. Yeah, because then I called beforehand yeah. and we went in the store <clears> and then. <throat> So then I I was just like, let me check Google again. And I check and I and I find the red one. I find that one on, on Google. And it shows JCPenney sells them. Out of all places, JCPenney. JCPenney? JCPenney. 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 JC, JCPenney. Jesse, no. That's, sorry, my mom used to say that. <laughs> JCPenney. And... <laughs> Out of all places, J.C. Penny, I, I Penny. find it on their website. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> shut up, Jerry. Stop making fun of my mom. I'm tell her. I'm gonna tell her. Mom, she's making fun no, of you. No, no, no. So I go to Jesse Penny. I'm making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I check the website, and it literally says nothing. Nobody has it in stock. And on the website itself, it's just says limited stock. So I check to see what nearest store has it. And the only store in all of L.A. that has it is in West Covina, where we're kind of where we're at. So I'm telling Jerry, let's just go to J- Jesse Penny. J.C. Penny. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to J.C. Penny and... See if they have it. And Jerry's like, no, they're not going to have it. Like, why are we going to waste our time? We were just over there. We were over there. It was hot. There was a bunch of traffic on the freeway. Like, oh. bumper to bumper parking lot traffic. I, I was, but I was just like, no. I was I'm telling not- her, look, we have a Prius. We save gas. I fixed the battery. We have AC. That's what I told. I told and I was telling you, I'm tired. I'm hungry. I, I don't want to do this. I like, was like, let's just go. Let's. And if they don't have it, then we'll buy. There's a ice a snow cone shop in the mall. Although if they don't have it, we'll go get a snow cone shop and we'll order it from Amazon. And you know we won't waste the trip. You know yeah. we'll we'll come out of it with something. Yeah. So uh, we go to J C Penny, and you know we're we're already like yeah we're not gonna find it like on our our heads we're like nah they ain't gonna have this shit. Yeah. So, you know, we go through their home section, home goods section, and everything's like clearance, pretty much everything. So we're, you know, we're shopping around, looking around, and we can't find it. And me and Jerry are like, all right, let's break up. Let's set, let's, you go that way, I'll go this way. And my ass ends up going to the little home goods section that we sort of looked at, but we didn't really look at. I think because we automatically assumed it was going to be, like, the clearance of the clearance. Yeah, like, it's like nobody who, wants this crap. Who wants it right now? Yeah. Like. So I go, and I'm looking through the little boxes, and I'm looking around, and I, and I find the f- freaking machine. I find it. At a J.C. Penny in West Covina. So our craving 
Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our craving was fulfilled thanks to JC Penny. Yes. And we bought that little dumb machine that Jerry just showed you guys. It's not dumb. It's not dumb because it actually works really well. And I am amazed. After that, we just went to uh, Smart and Final, and you uh, pull it back. We went to Smart and Final, and we ended up buying the syrups at Smart and Final for three bucks. We bought two syrups. What was it? One was a tiger's blood. One of them was tiger's yeah, blood. Tiger's blood. It and was basically watermelon. just like a tropical fruit, like tropical fruit, like tropical fruit punch. Yeah. And we got that and watermelon. And the watermelon one we made with tahin and yeah. chamoy. So we basically we made like a, you know, little Mexican flash on there. Oh, and then, Woo! yeah, and then we made, we had what, um, the mango nectar juice. Oh, yeah, we so had we the mango threw, nectar juice we from threw a little bit Trader of Joe's. And then we had the the, angle, the, the actual mango dried. Oh, the mango man- chilies. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was so good, guys. And we stuck that off. Oh. So, if you are in in the heat of summer, in the middle of the the whole, the, if you're in the middle of the heat and you want a snow cone, go get one of these snow cone makers and a little bag of ice. And man, comes in handy. You'll have a good time. Go to Smart and Final, get some of those little syrups, mm-hmm. the, help, the snow cone syrups. It's, it's really good. And now I'm thinking about ordering some more on Amazon. We so should. We we'll, should. I want some. I want to try that pineapple, pineapple, and I want to get that tamarindo. And the, the ta- tamari. No, I don't. I don't know about chato. Why? I don't know. I want to find that vanilla, the one that our our favorite. Uh, I, I don't know. know if you've ever seen our YouTube videos, but we posted a video of uh, of Memo. We haven't seen that man since before the pandemic, so I don't even know if he's still alive at this point. Well, no, we saw. I thought you saw him the other day. No, I didn't see him. You said that he was on the street. No. Yeah, you got me an elote. That wasn't from him. I had to lie to you so you can eat it. I told her I got this uh, elote thing from uh, a man that has the same type of setup as my our, our good friend Memo. And, uh, and I just bought it from him. And I told Jerry that it was from Memo. So that way she can eat it. Because she, she is being very stubborn. She's like, I'm not going to eat anything that isn't from Memo. I feel betrayed. It's okay. I you ate it did. and you enjoyed it. That was the, that's Actually, the I didn't. I ended up giving it you to you. You are lying. You I just said, I'm full. Here's, here's half of it. Exactly. And I was like, okay. Because I, I didn't you. like it. You're a freaking liar. So anyways, guys, that is it for today's podcast. Thank you guys for watching. It's already midnight here in Guru Los Angeles. So obviously, this is going to go up on Saturday. We want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And don't forget, you can find us on anchor.fm, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, uh, Stitcher, Radio Republic. Uh, What other one? Did you say anchor.fm? That was the first one I said this time. That's the main one. That's the main one. That's the main one. And we do have a WordPress website for the podcast itself. Uh, I still gotta mess around with it and stuff, but it's it should be up already. And uh, and yeah, if, again, leave your comments down below. Whatever you guys think of uh, the, the episode, if you guys think we suck, leave it there. If you guys think we're cool, leave it there. Hit the like button. And yeah, we'll catch you guys next week on Friday. Some more interesting videos on during the week though, but not not like this. Alrighty, guys. Say bye, Jerry. Peace. Peace.